Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about my new favorite bag. It's been something that I've been wanting for a very long time, not particularly this style, but the brand itself. Let me just go ahead and show you. Ta-da! You guys might not know it, it's not um, very flashy, um, which is kind of what I like about it. It's Dagny Dover. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I think so. This brand is known for having very like organized bags and this is obviously not sponsored because I have like 15 subscribers, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I loved about this bag. Um, I was actually ranting about it, not ranting, raving raving about it <laughs> that's the word i was raving about it to my sister and she was like you should just make a video and you know tell people why you like that bag so much so all of dagny dover's bags um are So all of Dagny Dover's bags um, are pretty much limited edition except for a few basics. The um, Each season they come out with a new design for bags and um, those bags, once they're sold out, they don't come back. I was waiting and waiting and I was always checking up on their website to see what their newest designs will be and then this one came out and I was like, okay, now is the time that I have to buy it because the other times I liked them but I didn't love them just because I felt like the colors weren't versatile enough or um, it was too small and um, I don't know I just didn't really like the structure of it and I didn't want to spend like a um, hundred plus dollars on a bag that I didn't absolutely love. I actually don't remember if there's a name to it. Um, well, it's a tote bag, very obviously, and it came in white and black, and I felt like the white one was a little bit too masculine for my everyday wear, but the white one was just perfect. Um, and I feel like even if it was a little bit like dirty and it can, kind of came off as like an off-white color or like a cream color, I would be okay with that too. The main reason why I love this bag is because there's so many like pockets and I have been avoiding big bags or buying big bags because um, I carry a lot of stuff with me and um, they tend to get lost. So I decided to just kind of minimize what I carry on me and and use smaller bags that way I don't have to like dig through them and look for my keys and all this stuff and it also tends to get dirtier um, because I start putting like random stuff in there because it's big it'll just hold it um, this bag I have not had that issue yet because of the number of pockets so the outside pockets like these four um, I wouldn't necessarily carry anything valuable in them napkins that I get from restaurants that I eat at um, and I'll just like put them in here for emergencies um, this is also a pocket for your phone and it's a pretty large pocket so my phone fits in here this is my phone it's huge um, but it fits in like so easily and I also have like this um, I also have this like rubber case on which makes it a little bit difficult for things um, because there's so much friction on it as you could see when I was pulling it out but when I like slip it in it goes in so easily and usually I don't have that much of a problem pulling it out. I love that pocket. <laughs> I love that pocket and um, funny I'm not used to having like a specific pocket for my phone so I forgot. I like thought I lost my phone and I was like Oh my god, I can't find my phone. I checked everywhere and then I realized, oh, it's in here. And I never use a pocket like that, so it was just funny to me. On the other side, there's no phone pocket, so this is just like, I guess, the front or the back, whichever way you prefer carrying it. Um, but there's these two pockets here, and then inside, can y'all see it? Inside, it came with this like um, cup holder little thing and it's detachable so let's say you carry like a mug of coffee with you and it kind of spills you can just detach it and then wash this and then you can just put it back it's like a little button snap on um, and then we have these two oh we have this 
Velcro section. I would put my wallet and my AirPods in here because this bag doesn't have like a complete zipper. Um, so I would just put things that are um, more easily like grabbable or people would want to steal. Um, and I would put it in the secure place. On the other side, there is a zipper. Um, this pocket is actually not that big, which is why I wouldn't put like my my uh, wallet here, but I might put like my AirPods. I would use this for like, when I'm like carrying like my rings and then I wanna like take them off and then put it here. So it's a nice thing that it has a zipper compartment because everything else is pretty much open. And then it has these like two, two flaps um, and I would put like my glasses and my mask um, in each compartment. And then um, it comes with this amazing like key ring string. I, I, I feel like I'm not using any of the like technical terms of this, but um, I love this because my keys always get lost. Just having it attached here and then looking for this string and then pulling it out, is, it makes my life so much easier. I'm pretty short, so like if I'm carrying something like this and then I don't wanna carry it, um, some bags when I carry it just like, you know, down like that, it like is too long and it'll drag on the floor, but because this one has two types of handles, um, this one makes it much more easy to just, you know, hold it down like that. But these handles are not detachable, which I know some people would prefer, but I, I like it. I think it it's just very simple. Um, they put a lot of different features and um, capabilities into this one tote bag, which is so freaking amazing. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I think I paid around 160 or 180 with tax. Um, I don't regret it. I love it. I use it pretty much every single day. They're really not that expensive for the durability and the um, more like luxurious features of it. If you're going to purchase it or if you're thinking about purchasing it, you should purchase it right now because um, I don't know when they're going to sell out. And I remember there was one bag that I was eyeing for a while, but I just couldn't justify the price for the Dagny Dover bag yet. And then I checked like two months later and then the bag was just like, gone so i wouldn't want that to happen to you it's just hard to find a bag like this and i feel like it's so special and i absolutely love it and i would recommend you get it um i'll link this down below but i wanted to just share my thoughts um with all my friends and um maybe anyone who's you know debating whether or not to purchase a Dagny Dover bag uh, and maybe they're curious about the specific edition. I actually debated getting another one in case this one gets ruined so I have a backup. You know that's when you know if you really like a product or not when you think about getting a backup for it especially because I know once these run out they're not going to come back and I know I keep reiterating that but that like gives me so much anxiety just knowing that I'm going to love something and never be able to have it again. So that's the end of the Dagny Dover tote bag review. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will try my best to answer them. Um, I will also link everything down below. Um, so if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.